what's up guys learning with rich here in this video we are now going to move to designing mechanical air systems so in our previous set of videos we have learned how to plan mechanical systems okay so this time around we're going to learn how to design the mechanical air system so for the first video of the series so we are going to place air terminals or a hosted air terminals in the ceiling of the rooms okay so as we place the air terminals we're going to modify the air terminal para uh, air terminal parameters learn a method to precisely place air terminals into the ceiling plan and then we're going to work with the airflow schedule okay so for the first part of the exercise let's prepare the design view so I'm going to uh, go to the launch 223 space so let's say you do not know that. So I'm going to open the schedule that I have created here, which is the air flow schedule, the space air flow schedule. So I'm going to double click that. Okay, so in our previous video, we have learned how to create the air, uh, air flow, uh, space air flow schedule. So now let's have a look at this one on the space air flow schedule. So I'm going to select here the tile views. To see also the floor plan so let's say you do not know where is the 223 space so what you can do is just go to the level 2 since it starts with 2 223 which is the lounge room so as you can see here by the way it's still zero on our uh, actual supply airflow right because we haven't placed the air terminal to that particular space that's the reason why it's still zero so we are after the calculated supply airflow, right? Okay, so where is that 223 uh, lounge? So if you do not know where is that here on the floor plan or on the ceiling plan, you just need to click here on the space airflow schedule. So you click that and then you will now see that it's now highlighted here, which is actually this one. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, place a supply air terminal. Okay, so as you can see, again, I'm showing you that it's zero because we haven't placed here the air terminal. So I'm going to click blank space here, let's say the name here, so that it will be select the space. And then going to my ceiling plan, I go to the systems tab, I will select the air terminal here. And then from the type selector, I'm going to use the supply diffuser here, which is a hosted family. So I'm going to click this one. And then as you can see, my pointer here says cannot. So for you to be able to place correctly a ceiling hosted family, so make sure the placement here is place on face. Okay, so I'm going to select here place on face so that our air terminal will be placed properly to our ceiling. So I'm just gonna let's say I'm just gonna place it somewhere here there you go right and then we are now going to modify the supply diffuser of this air terminal so I'm gonna select modify first to terminate it and also I want you to notice going back to our space airflow schedule you will now notice that it's now becomes 500 because the actual supply airflow here is 500. So I'm going to change this one. So let's say I want that to be uh, 425 CFM. Enter. So you will see here that it's now updated as well. Okay. Now the next thing that I'm going to do is um, I'm going to select modify to deselect the air terminal. I'm going to copy the supply diffuser or the air terminal. Just click that. Copy. And then make sure uh multiple here is selected so that uh, multiple option allows you to place multiple copies of the diffuser without reactivating the copy tool after each placement that's the reason why we check that one so i'm going to click on the upper left corner and then i'm going to move my cursor down and then i'm going to type 12 12 feet since our default unit here is feet so no need for me to type in the fit symbol. So I just need to type 12 and the Revit will understand it as 12 fit. All right. So I'm going to type 12, enter, or you can just 
move your cursor until you snap on 12 feet like that so you click okay and then let's say I also want to have another one here or here there you go oops I don't want that so I want that to be aligned here here and then I select modify so so maybe for this one I'll just select that and then move pick the base point and then click there you go modify all right now the next thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tag the diffuser so I'm going to select tag by category just click that one or you can type TG okay if there is no loaded family in this project so you will be receiving a dialog box that there is no loaded family you just need to select yes and then you just need to look for the tag that you needed and then just select that and then load it to your project but in my exercise models I already have that tag anyway so I'm gonna make sure the leader line here is unchecked or the leader is unchecked so I'm now gonna click this one okay so this is what I'm talking about there is no tag loaded so you just need to select yes to load it and then just select uh, diffuser tag or wherever you save that uh, file that you have the tag that you have select that and then just select open and then you are now ready to tag your project or your air terminal okay and then just select modify there you go and then you can now see here on our 223 okay so Basically, it's almost it's already near the the calculated supply airflow. The calculated supply airflow for our two two three is two one three eight, and then we have here two one two five for the actual. So it's almost there. Okay. So and then you will notice here that the airflow delta value is within the I think it's the acceptable range. Okay. Right. Okay, next, let's place a return diffuser. So let me just maximize my ceiling. I maximize the ceiling. Just active your level 2 HVAC ceiling plan and then tab views. Okay, so let's select the systems tab. Click air terminal. Let's select the work plane here. Return diffuser hosted work plane. And then make sure place on face is selected. And then just place your return diffuser. So let's say I want to place somewhere here and then modify. Okay, so there are some instances wherein your family cannot align to your ceiling. Like, for example, this side of your air terminal doesn't align to your ceiling line here. So that happens. If ever you encounter that, what you do is you edit the family. But actually for this one, for this um, uh, return diffuser, I can just select a line here, click the ceiling line, and then the side. So you can see that I can align, right? But if ever you encounter that your air diffuser cannot align to your uh, ceiling grid, what you can do is edit the family. I'm going to show you. So I'm going to click the return diffuser. I'm going to select edit family. And then on the family editor, just go to your uh, floor plans reference level. Just double click that. And then you select the sides here, the symbolic lines. So you click that. Hold control. Select the other three symbolic lines. Okay, and then after that, here on the reference, it's because it's a weak reference, just make it strong reference. If ever you encounter that a line is not working. So just make the reference or the symbolic lines here, make that reference a strong reference. All right, now let us load this into the project. So I click that one and then just override it. Okay, so let us now align this one. So um, I select the align tool. So let's say uh, I want that to be placed, let's say, to this corner here. 
align and then align there you go and same with this one so let's do the same procedure so I want that to be aligned here and then align here there you go and then select modify okay and then I'm gonna select these two return diffuser and then again I'm gonna change the flow here Okay, so I'm just going to type, uh, let's say, 310. There you go, 310 CFM. Okay, and then, by the way, you can also modify the airflow display arrow. Like, for example, for your return diffuser, you can also do that to your supply diffuser. On the, dis uh, the supply diffuser, I don't think there's an option here. For the arrow, there's no option on your supply diffuser for this family pot. For my return diffuser, if I click this one, so there's an option here, mechanical parameters. So there is up arrow, right arrow, uh, left arrow, and then down arrow. So you can use those uh, parameters to modify your diffusers. Uh, like, for example, I want the up arrow. There you go. So I want that to be hidden. And let's say I also want this, uh -huh. right? Oops, not the right. I want the corner. There you go. Okay, so you can do that. Okay, so there you go. So there is uh, our exercise for this one. It's very simple. Just placing a uh, hosted family, an air terminal ceiling hosted family. On our next video, we are going to learn how to place non-hosted air terminals. All right? So thank you for watching, guys. See you on our next video. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.